hey guys welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to make a necklace using scraps if you have any scraps from canes or skinner blends you can make a Natasha bead so I have some scrap clay here um, just to let you know that I already recorded this video this part of the video but for some reason it got deleted um, from my camera so I'm gonna have to do this again. Um, just it was just the beginning. The, the other parts were fine. So um, this is the one that I the color that I have uh, that I used from the other video. So what I did was I can you make sure this is well conditioned. I roll it into a ball because you don't want to work with dry clay. And then I'm going to start rolling it on the tile. And that might not come out the same how I did it the first time. So you're just going to start twisting it and rolling it. Twisting it. And then now uh, you're going to squeeze it in. Roll it again until you form a tube. Then grab your roller and then just flatten it out on all the corners until you form a rectangle. And just go like this. Then grab your flexible blade and then you're going to just cut in the middle. And make sure it's center. And then what you're going to get is a mirror image. And then try to um, mash them. Not match them, like put them side by side so they match. And this is how you create an Natasha bead. And then just try to squeeze it. And then make sure this is. And just grab your roller. And just flatten it out a little bit. And then I grab a piece of printing paper and then plan it out. Plan it out again. And then I'm going to use um, this cutter from, um, it's a convex spearhead from Jessima Mother Designs. And let's see. I use, okay, so I use this cutter. I'm trying to remember the because they're different sizes. Just make it a little bit wider. 
and then you're just going to cut in whatever you want your design to look like. I'll just do it right here. And press down. And lift this up. And there it is. And then just cut some like the excess on the side. And then you're going to bake this for 30 minutes at 275. Primo recommended temperature. So just make sure um, you know which uh, clay you are using. If it's scrap clay and you don't remember. But I'm using Primo. So this is a 275. And then cover it with the bowl. And then I'll be back to show you what's next. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, hey, so our beet is out of the oven, and now I'm going to put um, a back, a backing on on this pendant. I conditioned black um, black primo on a number one on my bust machine, and zero is my thickest setting. And then I'm gonna give it texture in both sides. So first, I'm gonna grab my sponge. I'm going to texture this. Then I'm going to flip this around. I probably will have to go back with the sponge. Um, on this side, I'm going to use uh, a stamp. Rubber stamp. This one I got from Amazon. You're going to need water so it won't stick to the clay. Then spray that. Hold on one second. And put it on the top and I use a um, sponge cosmetics cosmetic sponge just to make sure it sticks to the clay first and then I go with my roller this up and then clean tap some of the water out okay so now I'm going to dab a little bit of um, mica powder this one it's the Pearl X series number three Because there's this is um, different series. This is a number three. There is a number two and a number one. And this is color um, pink gold six four three. And then we're going to. Oh, first we're gonna cut um, cut this with the same cutter I used earlier for the pendant and just whenever you wanna place it and cut. And then you're just gonna dab a little bit. Let's see, let me pick this up. And you don't need much. And just dab a little bit. Now I'm going to make a border 
So this is going to be on top here. I'm going to cut um, some strips to make a border for this pendant. And I conditioned this on a number two on my pasta machine. I'm going to cut. So this is a little, it's quite thick. So you want to make sure you have a thick border. I'm just going to go around it. And I want to just put a little bit of liquid clay. And I'm using Kato liquid clay. This one right here. And just put a little bit. You don't need much. And then just going to start from the bottom. Hopefully this will just be one and it will stretch out all the way around it. And just go around. Oh, wait. Make sure it's right here. And you can like stretch it out. You can move this out of the way and then um, and just cut. And an angle. And just bring it over all the way to the end. Then make another cut. Okay, now you're going to put this on top of this. Sure, the center. I'm going to put some liquid clay too. Um, let's see. Pick this up. Just place it in the center. Make sure it's center. Got a little clay on my fingers. It's quite messy. Then I'm going to add a little bit of mica powder on the borders. I was thinking. Um, Just add a little bit. And I'm going to bake this for one hour at Primo recommended temperature. And I'm going to cover it with the bowl. And uh, make sure you have a um, bake it with. Oops. Um, put a piece of printing paper and then um, you do the printing paper and then. 
uh, the towel and the printing paper and then the bowl. Just make sure you cover it for one hour at primo recommended temperature. No matter if you use um, a brush, I guess. I'm just getting all this powder everywhere. One of those things. And then I'll be back um, to show you what's next. I think I'm going, yeah, I'm going to sand it. Sand it and then put the resin on it. And I'll be back to show you um, when this is out of the oven. See you in a little bit. Hey guys, so here's our piece, it's out of the oven. Now I'm going to um, polish this part right here. And I'm using these polishing papers. They are different colors and they got different grits. And we're gonna start with the green one, which is 400. So you're just gonna place it over here and then We'll find another area. It's pretty easy. I'm just gonna just do circle motions. I use this when um, the like this doesn't need a lot of sanding. So I'm using just the polishing papers. But if you need to send something, like be more aggressive with it, you can use the ones, um, the other sanding papers that requires to get wet. But this just um, doesn't require as much. So, and I don't wanna mess with the design right here. So if, if I, sand it with the other ones we'll just get rid of some of it so we just go and just and you can start to get smooth Do the next one. It's um, six hundred. Just do the same thing. And you don't want to sand this, polish this area right here with a mica powders because it will just it will come off so just this part or the back I'm just gonna um, finish with this one and continue with the other ones and I'll be back to put the resin on top of this see you in a little bit all right, so now I'm going to resin this and you're going to need a silicone mat. I'm using Ultradome UV epoxy. Have my uh, toothpick to direct the resin and you need a UV light. Okay. I'm going to start pouring this. Oh, and you need a lighter for pop the bubbles and stuff. Okay, so starting in the middle. And then at 
drag it with the toothpick. Drag the resin towards the um, spot this bowl right here. Just drag it all the way towards the edge. And I'm going to leave this under the UV light for about 15 minutes. Um, and, oh, and then I'll be back when it's done. See you in a little bit. Here's our finished pendant. And here's how it looks with the resin. I left it on my UV uh, light for about 15 minutes. And you see how shiny it looks. And here's the back. And I glue a bell in the back and I used the E6000 jewelry and bead. And I have this um, bell so you can glue. I got this from Amazon and all you have to do is um, get a toothpick and then just put a little bit of glue here and then just glue it it's just that easy and just wait maybe about an hour just to make sure it's it's dry so that's what I use and for the core there's a lot of options out there I just I'm using this thing that I have in hand and it matches because it's black and yeah that's about it um, I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any questions, write it in the comments below. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, it really helps me a lot to make more videos. Um, I appreciate everybody that's been watching my videos. Um, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.